Well, it's always good to be out and meeting with the members, especially at this uh, time of Christmas Day. It's an important day when most people are at home with the families. We have to have people on duty and it's always a pleasure to come out and interact with officers on Christmas morning. We've visited six stations across largely Kingston and St. Andrew. Started in Port Royal early this morning and now we're at Stony Hill Police Station. So it's, it's been a good day. Most of the places, as a matter of fact, all of them have been recorded. So the no, no crimes have been reported to any of the stations that we've visited. And hopefully we'll have the rest of the day being as peaceful as it has been so far. The team has been working really hard over the last three months to uh, reduce a crime or all sorts of crime, but particularly in terms of violent crime. We will, of course, have just come out of a state of public emergency. And certainly before the end of the year, I'll be seeking another one to start from the latter part of the year and into early part of next year. So as one of our strategies, of course, all the other policing strategies that we use are still going to be used over this period. All of that under operation relentless, including what we do under an SOE, is still use the techniques and tactics under Operation Relentless, plus those additional powers given to us under a state of public emergency. So that's what we'll be doing. We're looking forward to a, a better year next year, a lower year. But the team has been working nonstop to actually pull things back to make sure that people have a safe and secure uh, period over the Christmas. Fortunately, over the past two months or so, we've graduated over 600 officers, and they're out there. They are enthusiastic. Some of them, it's their first Christmas out as police officers and uh, when i saw them last night on the road on christmas eve on grand market they all seemed enthusiastic about being out there and doing their part for the security of our of our people they are upbeat about what they're doing well now now when we graduate an officer they would have spent four months at the academy another four months in a training division and then gone back to the academy for a, a period where they finish up and graduate. What that means is once they graduate, they're immediately very useful to a division because they have had very practical experience as part of their initial training, at least four months of it. So they'll be exposed to, in a training division, all aspects of policing. So they come out ready to go. And it's apparent when you see them out and on the road and in the stations.